it's going down. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. U.S. to back Ukraine as long as it takes. Biden, as you see right there. So it says, the United States president vows to keep propping up the Ukrainian military's war effort. And they intend on doing that by spending billions of dollars on military weapons and equipment in order to support Ukraine and their fight against Russia. But it's not Russia that they have to deal with now. Now they got to deal with Russia's ally, China, who have military convoys and Ukraine to fight alongside Russia. So now Ukraine is going to have to deal with Chinese forces. They're going to have to deal with the Russian forces. And as time passes on, man, we're going to head even more into a nuclear war. I mean, not, well, we're going to head even, what I meant to say was we're going to head even more into a World War Three. I mean, but well, at least, you know, what's been on my mind, you know, because we know that once the nuclear war happens, Yahabashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he's going to make his grand return. And uh, he's going to deliver his elect men and will finally be liberated from this wicked society. So it says the U.S. President Joe Biden has told it the significant help Washington and his allies are providing to Kiev and pledge an ironclad commitment to keep supporting Ukraine with weapons until it reclaims its entire territory from Russia. The price Ukrainian people are paying for this war is extremely high, but we're going to stay with them as long as they need our help, Biden said in a 60 Minutes CBS News interview aired Sunday night. The United States leader said that with the significant help we and our allies are giving them the incredible bravery and the incredible determination of the Ukrainian people. And the Ukrainian people are not losing a war. And they're making gains in certain areas. Last week, Biden authorized yet another $600 million in military assistance to Ukraine on top of the $675 million package announced the previous week and let me remind you that earlier this year the United States have already spent over a hundred billion dollars in, in military aid alone in military aid and support to Ukraine since Russia sent troops uh, into you into Ukraine in February the Biden White House has pledged uh, a total of four forty four point three billion dollars Okay, I said, well, well, I put, well, almost, almost over a hundred billion. But uh, here it says, since Russia sent troops into Ukraine in February, the Biden White House has pledged a total of 44 billion dollars in aid to Kiev part a part has been in cash and the remainder is the assessed value of weapons ammunition and training offered by the Pentagon uh, as of last week the the purely military aid amounted to 14 billion since February on top of the 17.2 billion dollars funneled into Ukraine since the 2014 cube. So when you add 17 billion and 14 billion, what do you get? You get 
31 billion yeah you get 30 you get like over 30 you get over 31 well when you add 14.5 billion and 17.2 billion together you get over 31 well no you you yeah you get you get 31.9 billion dollars when you add that with the 44.3 billion dollars you know that that sums up to almost a hundred billion dollars in, in military aid to Ukraine so uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 it says and ye shall hear of wars excuse me and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass but the end is not yet and um, uh, I've said this before but I'm going to say it again the United States uh, giving Ukraine support and military aid is an act of war okay it is an act of war So we're hearing of wars and rumors of war. But like Yahweh Shai said, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, you know, we're we're not we're 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 not at the um like um at, at the end as touching, you know, this kingdom this empire getting ready to fall down and Yahweh shall make this return but we are nearly nearing the end of the fall of this empire and and, and, and the salvation of the Lord's elect you know coming well we're, we're we're right at that that doorstep you know you know we 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 are we are living at the very end of Edom's empire so with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, it's on to the next one.